Tesco has come a long way when it comes to the manufacturing um, part of, of the business, of the design business. Uh, they were traditionally sort of CAD vendors, and now over the last couple of years, they really have upped their game in the CAM or computer ed computer aided manufacturing space with the acquisition of Autodesk HSM. So Autodesk HSM has been put into Fusion 360, which is what we're going to take a look at today. So what I want to take a look at is how far the tool library has come in, in Fusion 360. So previously what, what would, ha would happen is that you'd only have a tool library that was present on your local drive. Um, and as the years come, came by, because Fusion 360 is primarily a an internet or uh, internet driven sort of program, or it's a cloud driven program, sorry, um, you'll see there that they've started adding libraries to the cloud. So if I take a look on the left hand side of here, you'll see there that I've got cloud libraries for some shared tools as well. I'm just going to take some of that off over there. So these are the tools that I am able to share with myself um, through the cloud and be able to access from anywhere in the world. So uh, no matter where I am, if a job needs to be done, I can access my tools and be able to get the job done quickly with the tools that I'm familiar with, which I do not then have to go and recreate because they're sitting on my local drive uh, back home. So for, for new guys like myself, um, you know, Autodesk in, in trying to learn this stuff, Autodesk has made it kind of easy um, by being able to, you know, we've got these sample libraries over here. So if, if I've got anything that I need to, to maybe do, I'm able to take one of these sample uh, tools and be able to create whatever I need out of it, you know, out of something similar that's already been created. Um, if I don't know what to do, then what I can do is I can also go and, and maybe filter out what I'm looking for. So you'll notice here as well that we've got some vendors. So, you know, they've, they've, the vendors have come on board, which is a great and fantastic thing because, you know, you're going to go in, you're going to say, right, I need this tool from this vendor. I've got a part number and that part number will be the old product ID, as you can see in the top right hand corner over here. So on the top left hand corner, you've got some filters um, and this helps us to filter down what we actually want to do by operation, by type or even by dimension. So if I select operation, you'll see there, right, what would you like to do? Do you want to do a milling operation? What type of milling operation would you like to do? Would you like to do hole making, turning, cutting? Okay. So with that, let's uh, go take a just a normal, uh, let's do a chamfer tool. Okay, right, okay. And then it goes and starts to um, filter out the, the tools for chamfering. Uh, from that, you know, I've got some more options over here. <clears throat> Maybe I want to do a hole making center drill or drill as well. So it's now chamfering out um, a few, um, you know, more tools that I'm then able to go and use. What I can also do with this is I can go to my dimensions and filter out further by dimensions. So it might give me a whole list of maybe, you know, sort of, 100, 200, 300 different tools where I can go filter it out by diameter, flute length, overall length, corner radius, paper angle, number of flutes and material um, through that. Uh, if you want to, if you find the tool that you have got, okay, you can select it. You'll see there's some um, information on it. And what I can do, once I found the tool that I want, I can go and select it um, and I can go and copy this. Unfortunately, we can't edit the tool from here because this is kind of like our our master tool library. So if I go and copy the tool, I can go to my documents, and this document is my current document that I've got open. So it's a local copy that I'm working on, and I can go and paste that tool. So there's my spot tool that I've got over here. From here now, what I can do is I can go and edit the tool. So by editing this tool, I'm able to go and change the, the default info, although you don't really want to, as this is a this is from one of the vendors and you've got your product ID that you'll use to go get them. You've also got a product link, which will take you through to where the product is. Then you can go and change your cutter. So you can see all the information over there. Change your shaft, change the holder, change the feed speed, feed and speed, and also go and name your post processor. So you give it a number so that when the machine does do its change, um, it knows in the, in the code uh, which, which tool it's going to change to. Um, if you wanted to go create uh, a new tool, so in the top right-hand corner, so the, the tools are very easily accessible. Um, you know, select, create new uh, mold tool, and then once again, you can go change cutter, shaft, holder. And the nice thing about this, everything's the same. So all the, the tabs, 
you know, cutter, shaft, holder, all in the same um, sort of same place. Uh, you're not, it's all very familiar. So you're not running around fumbling to see exactly where and what, um, all the, where all the information is uh, that you do want to get hold, hold of. Okay, so basically that's your, your CAM tool library. Um, you know, sort of, like I said, you've got your samples over here, uh, which you can very easily just go through that, see exactly what you've got at your, at your, at your, uh, at your office or the factory, um, you know, sort of modify it to what standard you guys want. Um, or if you do use some of the vendors that they have over here, um, you can just take from there <clears throat> and, uh, and, and be able to get up and running uh, much more quickly. Just another way that Autodesk is making our lives a whole lot easier. And this Fusion 360 really has come along um, in leaps and bounds. So I can just expect this to get better and better. Thank you very much for watching.